Hey, happy Saturday. I'm Sydney, obviously, and you saw me last week, so I'm here again, I guess. And uh, I am here to talk about, number one, how have you encountered homophobia and how did you react to it? And number two, my favorite people in the LGBT community. Um, by the way, I am sorry that I look completely horrible. I have been sick all week with terrible allergies and I've been teary-eyed, so if I go like this, or during the video a lot, I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm kind of just getting over being sick, and then I'm sick again, and it kind of sucks. So, uh, let's get this started. Sorry you can't hear me. Um, I'm trying to find my camera. I can't find it. <laughs> so, I'll look for it even harder. <sighs> Anyways, let me start with number one. How have you encountered homophobia, and how did you react to it? Um... I have encountered homophobia all over the place, but it's not like the bad type of homophobia against me. Against others, I hear a lot of homophobia. And, um, well, against me, when I came out, I heard a lot of people that would like, when I was in the locker room, they'd be afraid, and I'd just say that they were ugly, so I wouldn't give a shit about looking at them naked. Um, but that was like the, f the start of homophobia against me. There were two guys that always um, tortured me, basically, for being gay. And uh, last year, when I was in a <coughs> when I was in government class, both of them were in the same class as me. And there was a guy who, during a video about uh, uh, Proposition Eight passing, he was like, "Thank God it passed because I don't like gays, whatever." And it it's great that it passed blah 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 and I got really really upset and I yelled at him and my teacher was like oh what what happened and I pointed him out and my teacher got really upset and like sent him out so I felt really great about myself but then I heard a whole bunch of people calling me really really ridiculous names like I would walk down the hall like oh, the next week I would walk down the hall and hear oh what a faggot look at what she did to guy's name that I'm not going to say on here, and, uh, it wasn't, like, bad for me, because I didn't really care, and I was glad that he left, but the other guy ended up apologizing to me because of his behavior, and I felt really great about that, so I guess it does work out sometimes. The guy that I was talking about that said the bad things about, um, gays, though, he never apologized, but I don't really care, because it doesn't really bother me at all just as long as he's not saying it against others. And uh, I really don't like when people say that uh, gay guys are wrong and gross and disgusting, but lesbians are okay. Because I hear that all the time, and that's still homophobia. So people that think that they aren't being homophobic, they really are being homophobic. And um, I just hear a lot of words, like, you know, form spring, obviously. These are just little tiny tidbits of things that I've heard that are homophobic against me. I hear mostly things that are homophobic against other people because most of the time people just accept my sexuality and are okay with it because, you know, they kind of assume. Anyways, you know, you look at me and I don't look like a lesbian, but then you kind of get to know me and you think, yeah, I can understand that she's a lesbian. And usually people know that after a while of knowing me, so it's not really like I tell them straight away, oh hi, I'm a lesbian. Um, actually, one of my friends did that to this girl that I met that is now one of my best friends. She did that, and I was like in eighth grade, and my friend was like, oh, this is Sydney, she's a lesbian. And I was just like, you don't tell people that. <laughs> but now I'm more comfortable with telling people about it. And, um, I mostly hear like, oh, I freaking hate gays, I hate them so much, you're such a dyke, faggot, queer, homo, you know, things like that. And I just don't understand words like that, you know? It's like, if you're okay with rights, you know, because a lot of the people that say these things, they're like for rights for other people. You know, I mean, if you're a homophobe, you might as well be a racist, a sexist, you know, against everything. Because gays were born gay, they, weren't, they never chose, you know? It's like, people that are black never chose to be black, they were just born that way. And, it's not hereditary though, so it's a lot different, and people just 
are so cruel against it. So if you are homophobic, you might as well be a racist, you know? And, um, I never really hear things that are homophobic unless I am looking at websites that are homophobic. Like, I will go to, uh, Westboro Baptist Church's uh, site and see all the homophobia that they post and it really bugs me but that's about the biggest extent of homophobia I've ever seen and um, I know a lot of kids that have been just horribly mistreated because they're gay and it really bugs me like I don't understand how anybody could ever be so rude to another human being like that um, I guess I should move on, because I've talked about this for about five minutes. <laughs> it's almost six minutes, my video. Anyways, um, number two is my favorite people in the LGBT community. Um, I've been thinking about this all week. Like, personally, it's really difficult for me to choose. If I had to choose, like, one person that was in the music industry, I would choose Freddie Mercury over anybody. Because, obviously, you know, Freddie Mercury's really, really inspirational. He was, like, this wonderful, wonderful guy that just made this beautiful music and had this gorgeous voice, and he was, he was a really lovely person. And I, he is the one person that I, whenever somebody asks me, if you could sit down with one person to dinner and talk about whatever, who would you choose? And I always choose Freddie Mercury. You know, if it's dead or alive, I'd always choose Freddie Mercury. And I was so sad when I re when I heard that he died. Like, I didn't know that he died a long time ago. <laughs> but my dad told me that he died once. And I was just so upset that I didn't get to meet him. And I didn't get to go see Queen or whatever. And I was really upset. But I love Freddie Mercury. He's just a wonderful guy. If I were to choose, like, somebody else, it would probably be somebody like Jane Lynch because she's fucking crazy and I love her. I just, I think that she is fabulous and she's really sweet. Same with like, you know, the I'm trying to find something that's not overrated completely. Like, I would say, you know, Harvey Milk, Ellen DeGeneres, you know, like the usual people that you would pick out that are gay. And, uh, I don't know. Because, like, there's so many people that I look up to and I respect, and I guess that a lot of them, even if they aren't gay, they're the same types of people, you know? It's like, I don't need to know that somebody is gay to really look up to them. And these people never really hid their sexuality, really. They just didn't talk about it, you know? And it's not one of those things that you need to talk about openly. And I really respect that because you don't need to make your sexuality a part of your daily life, you know? I mean, unless you're like, well, I mean, a part of your like daily conversation, like, oh, what's it like being gay? Oh, it's pretty great. It's grand. I love it. And um, that's about it. Like, I'm glad that these people are so intact with their sexuality and they're they like they love themselves even though some people might think that they're just nasty and they're weird and they're different and it's good to be different it really is and it's something that you just can't control and that's one of the reasons that I really respect all these people that come out and uh, you know like acting and music and other stuff like that athletics whatever I think that it's awesome that people come out and they can be fine with their sexuality. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna get going. So have a happy, happy, happy Saturday. And I'm sorry again for my sickness. I'm, I'm probably gonna go take a nap after this. So <laughs> thanks. See you next week.